Hello, Collective. Welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families. Okay, I return to source. I return to sender all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you is being returned to you. It is returned to you. Okay? All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are being dismantled or dismantled against you and your loved ones. As I have said, so shall it be. Okay? Judgment is final. Okay, let's see what in the name of source is going on out here. So I see someone may be being humble behind the scenes, okay? Um, you may have someone, maybe even a masculine, that has been really set on trying to tarnish someone's, someone else's energy. What I really see here is a good read, but this is taking place because someone has been trying to tarnish, destroy either another masculine's energy or image or a feminine energy's image. And this is because this person does not want people seeing the truth about you. So they may have been trying to discourage people behind the scenes, telling people, hey, um, this person is this. They could be, be telling people that you are loose or you are just the worst things you can think of. Someone has been saying that about you. But people are seeing that you are in this energy. You've consistently been in this energy. Okay. So your life is about to take some type of drastic turn in the right direction. It's not something bad. And this is because balance is being brought into this situation. Someone is losing a lot of friends, um, a lot of acquaintances, uh, associates, whatever we want, whatever we want to call them. They're losing a lot of people behind the scenes because people are seeing this person for exactly who they are. Um, you could have a king of cups that's coming towards you, wants to build a family with you. I don't know if this person predominantly reside in the king of cups energy, but maybe because they have emotions for you is why they are coming towards you okay so someone does want to build with you um and they could have someone in the background of them either like a wife or ex-wife a mother figure someone he, he had a child with that does not want this person uh, uh connecting with you okay someone may be trying to even get like a separation or a divorce from the person that they are with so that they can connect with you whoever you are you can be man or woman okay so someone has foresight of what's basically going on they know that you're going to be victorious uh-huh so whoever is behind the scenes has been trying to block your forward movement it could be in love in life overall work anything you can think of someone has been trying to block that but this person already knows they now know that there's nothing they can do to block you from moving forward to receiving something right so they already know you know they know everybody else knows that you're going to have victory or you already have victory you've already overcome all of these uh, uh disadvantages someone has put in in your path right in front of you to block you so you're still going to have your ten of cups you're going to have the love, the business, the success, the empire, all of that, right? You could have also um, uh, the, the person that's coming towards you that may be leaving a family behind. Maybe they weren't fulfilled in their family or they, they could be leaving a relationship. They may have children or a child with that person and they're choosing to leave that behind. Maybe they don't feel fulfilled in there. Um, this person wants to start brand new somewhere else, okay? So they could be, I don't know just choosing to start over because they don't feel fulfilled in life right now okay um you could be having a new start yourself whoever you are and maybe you're not aware that this person is coming towards you you i think you and someone have been mirroring the same situation the same experience it's like people are blocking this person from coming into your energy and people are blocking you from moving forward but the the most high may be opening doors for each of you on your path where you will establish yourself and then will eventually meet or this is something that's about to take place currently so what i'm also getting is that this is current energy someone is moving on with their life like they want to connect with uh an impress energy so that you two can kind of move on get away from this toxicity whatever this is 
this is just too much going on. You have a whole bunch of people coming together is what I'm hearing to block some type of, yeah, some type of collaboration, maybe even a marriage. So someone may want to marry you and people don't want this person to. This is like a whole group of people getting together to discourage someone from connecting with you. They say, hey, they, they may look like an empress, but they're not an empress, <laughs> right? <laughs> they're deceiving this person. <laughs> Leave it to the karmics to be the deceivers. Someone could be being deceived. Uh, look, 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 it's on here again. They're deceiving. This man is being deceived by his friends and families so that he does not come towards you. Okay, because they know this person has a lot of emotions for you. Yeah, this person has a lot of emotions for you. And someone knows that he does. Like a whole group of people, even his family, Possibly even the person he was with knows that this man has a lot of emotions for you and they've been causing a lot of dece deception to prevent this person from connecting with you, okay? Someone may have just been like waiting for the right time to take action. He could be leaving in a hurry or something, something like that. But he, he's not letting them know what he's doing whenever he decides to do whatever it is he's doing. It's going to be like instantaneous where no one can tell him hey don't go to this person we've warned you if you go there and things don't work out don't come back here like they're trying to cause some type of hesitancy in his mind to make him feel like he's effing up by leaving some type of toxic toxicity behind basically okay it's what they're trying to do Yeah, they want him stuck. I'm telling you, they want to keep him in his mind. You see this uh, um, three of wands out here with this four of pentacles. They want this man to stay stuck. They don't want him moving. They want him to keep waiting and waiting and waiting. Like they want him to keep thinking about stuff. Like just think about it and let us know if you've changed your mind. And they come back, he hasn't changed his mind. Think about it. And he keeps thinking about it. I don't know why. Like they have so much control over him. But eventually someone, yeah, with this six of swords out here, someone like this, they'll get fed up and just leave. <clears throat> There's also people behind the scenes trying to block you, as I said, a collective. It could be you as the empress, whoever this is. Like you're trying to, you're trying to fix a situation that you may be in and someone is going to keep trying to interfere so that you can stay stuck in uh, an unhealthy and uh, unfruitful situation. Like this is like you taking action, like your ancestors tell you to take action to do something, whether it's take a course, change locations, whatever this is, like you take action to do that. Someone is interfering, trying to block you from being able to move forward. They're trying to steal opportunities from you to keep you stuck in some type of like, like they want you to have to keep, um. What is it? I don't know if it's like, they want you to stay stuck in your mind. They want you to stay stuck in life. Like they don't want you thriving. They want you second guessing like, oh, you know, I guess that opportunity wasn't for me. I guess that person wasn't for me. That's not true. It's because it's not working out because there's someone in there interfering with your forward movement. Yeah, no. They want you to stay stuck at a certain position, but you're not. You're going to have a new position in something, in a company, whatever this is, and it's going to be wish fulfillment for you. I want you to see how it went from the four of pentacles to the eight of pentacles and then the nine of puffs. So you are going to have fulfillment. You are going to, you know, love what you're doing. You are skilled at what you're doing. This is what people do when they, when they are intimidated by you. Like someone wants to hide you basically. And you're coming out of this stagnant period of your life and stepping into something that you are truly going to enjoy. Okay? You are truly going to enjoy what you're doing. You see it as wish fulfillment. It is going to be wish fulfillment or it is wish fulfillment. Someone wants to build with you and people have been stopping this person from coming towards you. It's like they're telling him, hey, if you go to this person, you're not going to be happy about how it's going to turn out. Once you get them to a certain place, right they're going to betray you they're going to leave you hanging out in the cold i want you to see how how 
positive this message is after this person leaves this situation okay it's not even before after they leave this is like positive positivity out here this is a great message we're seeing the only thing is that you have people in the background hiding your hands okay hiding their hands like someone has been waiting planning on how to move forward coming up with a plan on how to move forward to approach you basically to make some type of proposal to you it could be in relationship finance work business something like that like someone knows you're very abundant right they may even want to oh i can't say that but <laughs> it was about to come out <laughs> And sources was like, don't say that. <laughs> so I'm not going to say it. <laughs> so they said, we can't be giving all the full one one out here. Okay? All the full one one. But people are heartbroken about this. You have a masculine in here as well that's heartbroken because he didn't take a chance with you. He didn't take a chance with you. And some of you may have a message coming from an emperor about some type of offer some type of proposal to work with you, something like that. Someone has been like holding on to something for a long time, or this could be someone that's living in regret that he did not give you an offer. Right now he's in his mind. He's seeing the truth about a situation. He's realizing that holding back from you was the wrong thing. He should have offered you something. Someone may have made some type of ridiculous move because of, yeah, yeah, he's burdened. His burden that you that he didn't give you an offer, he held back. He may have made some type of ridiculous judgment because of something someone said. Now he's knowing that. Huh, now someone is realizing that he would have had victory with you if he would have taken that chance with you. Okay, and someone is worried about you leaving, you having some type of brand new beginning, and you will. This is how it's destined. Like everything has played out. This whole situation is like played out. It's played out. People are tired. People are separating from some person behind the scenes. They're humbling someone. This is that someone just, just bad mouthing another energy, telling people how, I don't know, worthless you are, useless you are, something like that, how you're this and how you're that. And people are seeing the truth about the situation and they're getting away from this person. They're telling them like, you need to humble yourself. That someone is losing friends. It's like the, the very thing someone set for you, the very trap someone set for you, the very hole someone dug for you, is what they found themselves in. That things are turning around in a way they did not expect. Someone thought they had destroyed your image. No one would want to be around you. No one wants to connect with you. No one wants to connect with you. This could be like a masculine energy that's going through this or maybe even a feminine energy. It doesn't matter. But someone is getting a taste of their own medicine. And while your life is moving forward, someone is about to be struggling really hard. Someone is about to be struggling really bad. And there's a thief that's burdened because something is being exposed. This could be the person everyone is separating themselves from. People are finding out that there are thieves right someone doesn't want balance being yeah someone does not want balance being brought into a situation but people are seeing someone for who they are they're seeing someone for who they are there's an emperor behind the scenes that's very burdened about accepting some type of offer i don't know if it was like a bribe or someone presented it to him in a way where it didn't seem like a bribe and now he's realizing that he was he was tricked. He was tricked into doing something. And there's something here too. Yeah. He was tricked into doing something, tricked into collaborating with someone or a group of people. I don't know how he was tricked. Someone of this stature, caliber should not be easily tricked. I don't know if someone gave them money. Talking about in good faith or something. You know, sometimes what people do, this is what I'm hearing. Someone may have approached an emperor 
and they did it very strategically. They approached this emperor over time, over time, okay? They may have maybe started some type of friendship with him. I'm seeing another scenario that I'm gonna cover as well. They may have started some type of friendship with him and ended up you know, giving him some type of money and this emperor didn't think about it. Basically, he was when he got the money, he said, well, this guy is legit, right? He's giving me money. Like, I don't know why he's giving me this amount of money. He didn't think nothing about it. After he accepted the money, whoever that other character is, this dark character, started making some type of request of him to do something. This is how people are being bribed, tricked into some type of toxic collaboration. So some of them, it's not that they're, they're eagerly or willingly choosing to betray or come after an energy. It said they were tricked into it. So now he's received money from this person. And now the person is making requests of him to do this to someone, to do that to someone, block someone for movement. Don't give them this opportunity. Keep them trapped. Keep gaslighting them. Keep pretending like you care about what they're doing. This emperor initially, when you will have either started I don't know if it's a relationship or a work, a, some type of position with them. I don't know if you work for them or you're in a relationship with them, whatever it is. He was very enthusiastic about you being in his company or being in a relationship with you. But once this other character behind the scenes got involved, things started changing because he thought the person he was in that friendship with was genuine. The person was not genuine. They tricked this person into doing something they shouldn't have done. Now he's stuck in some type of toxic collaboration. He may be ending up losing everything because of this collaboration. I don't care how much money someone gives you. If they tell you to do something or ask you to do something that you know just does not sit right with you, don't do it. If anything, give them their money back. Give them their money back. There's another situation I'm seeing here where there's a King of Cups and possibly an Emperor. The King of Cups is the one that started doing some type of sneaky behavior to an Empress energy. His friend may not have been aware before, but he's aware now. But somehow he got this friend to start participating in this low vibrational activity. And both of them are trapped in something they can't get out of. Like they choose something and they have to stick Stay, stick to it. They have, they're committed. They have to commit themselves to it because they accepted something behind the scenes. They didn't realize they were trapping themselves into something really toxic. And now they're burdened. They are burdened. I'm telling you, they're burdened. These two men could even be arguing behind the scenes. They said, this is your fault. You're the one that got me into this. You, to you told me we were all in the clear. Everything was going to be A-OK. -okay. Looks like everything is now OK. These two are about to lose a lot, whoever these two friends are. They're about to lose a lot. While you're having a brand new beginning, starting over, they're about to be losing a lot. Like, I don't know. I don't know if, like, they got stuck in, they ended up participating in some type of cult-like mentality and took some type of money or bribery from an occultist, a cult or clothing, some type of dark institution. Uh-huh. And now they're stuck. They may be trying to destroy someone's business or this man could have been dark all along but pretending to be something he's not. Listen, whatever this is, there's a couple of people that are about to learn a really, I'm being corrected to say a group of people. There's a group of people that are about to learn a really hard lesson. A really hard lesson. Someone strategically <laughs> listen to the words, sir, uh, people. Someone strategically got people trapped into some type of clothing. <clears throat> Excuse me. I should have drank some water before coming to sit down. I don't like, you know, uh, interrupting my messages to go do stuff so we're just going to make it work some people someone strategically got people stuck in some type of cult 
clothing. Someone is an occultist and people didn't know that and they were accepting bribery from them. Listen, I said bribery. They were accepting bribery from this person and they didn't realize that. And this person has been trying to manifest some type of ending for you. And there's something going on now to bring balance into a situation. People may be trying to separate themselves exactly. People may be trying to separate themselves from this occultist, this devilish energy. It doesn't have to be a cult. It can just be someone that's just very devilish. Someone is very disturbed in the mind. Someone is very disturbed in the mind. Okay? But people are starting to see the truth about this, whatever this is. Like you didn't give us the full scope of what was going on. Like someone has been sending people after an empress energy for no reason. No reason at all. Is that, hey, don't give her this promotion. Keep her stuck. Don't give her a raise. You have a lot of people that have been working together. Trying to block new beginnings for someone. Trying to cause confusion. I'm telling you, cause confusions. Cause confusions. Like if you're someone that's business savvy, this person has been causing confusion that you don't know what you're doing. You're not business savvy. You don't multitask very well. And someone, someone took the bait and they've been causing you some type of stagnation. I'm going to use this as an example. Let's say you work for someone and this person that purchased them and they knew you were like business savvy and you knew what you were doing. The moment this occultist gave them money and started making requests of them, all of a sudden, they changed their mind about you. Now you're not business savvy. You don't have anything to say that they want to hear. But they're going to try to stay cool and collect and make it look like they're not part of what's going on. They don't know anything that's going on. Okay? <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I should have drank some water before sitting here. My flow is dry. <clears throat> yeah. There's a few people in here. Things are being balanced off of them. They're losing something. They're losing something. Someone is living in a lot of anxiety and fear. <clears throat> because possibly a king of swords may want to do the right thing. A king of swords may want to do the right thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. There could be some type of message that's supposed to come to you and someone is telling him don't send the message. There could be an offer that's supposed to come to you and someone is telling them don't give them that offer. <clears throat> this could be even a feminine energy that's doing all of this behind the scenes. But everything is about to be balanced out. Everything is about to be balanced out. There's a woman that's living in fear because a masculine is about to do the right thing. I'm telling you. Someone is burdened because of the right thing is being done. There's something is being balanced out. Because all of the tricks and secrets are being exposed. Everything someone was doing, everything a group of people were doing, right? This toxic collaboration, everything they were doing is being exposed. They've been working hard to keep to keep some type of conflict going. Something should have been over a long time ago. This is like you being in some type of, uh, 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 I don't know if it's a competition, whatever this is, but you're not even aware that you are in a competition for something. This is you being in a lineup for a position, not knowing you're in a lineup for a position. And your nemesis or whoever this is, your competitor, they are going out of their way to block you from receiving what's yours. They don't want you having a chance at this opportunity, at this position. So they do everything behind the scenes to block you. You may not even know who these people are. You may not even know who these people are for some of you. But just know that there's a company that has considered you for a position. You may even be the one this position belongs to, and whoever is currently there now does not want to leave, so they've been hiding information, blocking you, 
they may even <clears throat> excuse me they may be even sending someone to you to pretend to be i don't know even your soulmate or to present you with some false position business opportunity someone is sending someone to another energy i'm telling you and i said opportunity right they're sending someone to deceive you with a false opportunity so if you take that opportunity you're going to be stuck in some type of contract with someone and you won't be able to receive your actual blessing this is what someone is planning to do <clears throat> this is what someone is planning to do whoever your competitor is is trying to deceive you in such a way that you won't be able to receive what's yours they're going to want you signing some type of some type of contract when this false person comes towards you they're going to make it seem like the the, the position of a, uh, your dream position basically the opportunity of a lifetime okay they're going to make it seem like the opportunity of a lifetime but this is what it is it is an illusion be careful someone is going to come in your energy very cloaked masked very well he's been practicing he's done this before you're not the first one he's doing this to he and a feminine energy has been working behind the scenes i'm telling you i'm this is a tower i'm revealing something to someone pay attention i'm revealing something to someone pay attention don't miss out on your blessings there's an opportunity that's for you but someone is trying to cause some type of illusion to get you to lose everything stay calm you're very intuitive with all of these intuitive cards out here you're fair someone very intuitive even the devil's car is an intuition car. The devil is not a dumb dumb. The devil is just wicked, but he's, he's, he or she is not a dumb dumb. <laughs> the devil is just toxic, but the devil is not stupid. Very intuitive. The Empress energy, intuition. Six of Swords, intuition. The King of Cups, intuition. There's a lot of intuitive cars out here. Page of Cups. The freaking ace of ace of wands, page of wands, emperors, page, uh, queen of pentacles. All of these, these two of swords. These are intuitive cards out here. <clears throat> so you're someone highly intuitive and skilled. <clears throat> Lord, if I had to clear my throat one more time, why did I not get? And then the empress is at the bottom. As soon as I split the deck. You're someone intuitive, so pay attention. Listen to your inner guidance. Someone is coming in your energy to present you with some type of opportunity just so they can deceive you. You have you stuck in some type of company. They want you to see it as wish fulfillment. It's not. This person is burdened because they know you're very smart. You're very intuitive, very sharp. So they know they may have a hard time tricking you. Okay, they know they may have a hard time tricking you. I'm telling you. And it looks that they won't be able to. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. So maybe whoever is watching this and wanting to come towards you to deceive you, they're, they're, they won't be able to because they're seeing that it's not going to be happening. Someone is planning to come in and trap you in something, but they cannot. They cannot trap you. You're not an energy that's meant to be trapped. I'm telling you, you're not an energy that's meant to be trapped, bonded to the devil. You're not one of the devils. Give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, but the collective does not belong to Caesar. So Caesar cannot have the collective. And you even have people that are freeing themselves from this energy. They're, they're walking away. You're not the only one collective that's free to go. There are people freeing themselves from this energy here. They want something new. 
People want to heal. You know the devil don't care about healing. The devil does not care about healing. They want to start over and brand new. See what, what other possibilities are there outside of this institution. They want to be free. I'm telling you, people want to heal. People want to heal. So they're freeing themselves. People are freeing themselves from this energy. Okay? Like someone came up with a good idea on how to trap an innocent energy into something and they're being told they cannot. Here's that this is not part of this per person's purpose, I'm telling you. Someone is meant to be free. The page of swords has to do with you being out into the world, experiencing things, being free, living life, encountering new experiences, opportunities, and adventures, acquiring knowledge through experience, right? So you're meant to be free, not bonded to the devil. I'm telling you, you're meant to be free. So someone is not going to be able to trap you. Even if this is someone, I'm telling you, you are meant to be free. Like it keeps coming out. Free, free, free. You are meant to be free. Someone, you're even free to go. You are free to go. The devil can now have, keep a hold of you, does not have a hold of you. The devil may have thought he or she did, or it did. It does not. She does not. He does not. You're not one of the devil's subjects. You don't belong to the devil. So someone may have been planning to come in and present you with something, make it look like it was wish come through, that they were being straightforward with you. They weren't being straightforward. They were not going to be straightforward with you. Someone thought very hard about this plan to come in and have you trapped in this. And here you are, free to be. Free to be. And you have other people that are separating themselves from this group. People, are, There's a group going through some type of awakening. There's a group going through some type of awakening. And it's scary for this energy. Whether this is an institution, a couple, whatever this is. It's scary for them. I don't know if this is an institution, but yeah, I'm telling you. People want to be free. You're going to be receiving an opportunity collective. You may be receiving a letter. People may be celebrating you behind the scenes because you overcame some type of devilish energy. Someone has been trying to destroy you and you've overcome your enemies and people may be celebrating you behind the scenes, right? You're free to go. It's what I'm hearing. I'm being told that. That's what I keep hearing. You're free to go. You're free to be. You're free to, I'm telling you, you're free to be, free to go. You're free to step out on faith, have a brand new start. And get away from these people as far as possible. I'm telling you, this is judgment. Clarity is being brought in any type of conflict someone was causing. Someone is being seen for exactly who they are. You are about to be in a whole new environment, whole new environment where you will be with like minded people forming new alliances working with the right people right not worry about someone having trying to slander your character like you've overcome a whole lot i'm telling you you've overcome all of this competition jealousy hey anger all of that i'm telling you i knew it And you're being seen for exactly who you are. Your ancestors are telling you to stand your ground. Someone is going to come in your energy. Pay attention.
Whatever someone was planning for you is happening to them. I think I mentioned that. <laughs> Whatever someone was planning for you, it is happening to them. I'm also hearing you're going to have to leave something out in the cold. I'm not more so getting like homelessness here. What I'm getting is you're going to have to leave something out in the cold, something you've either been working on, maybe a position, something like that. You're going to have to leave it out in the cold so you can have your brand new beginning. <clears throat> okay. Excuse me. Yeah. Someone is going through exactly what they intended for you. Mm. And this is just corroborating with what I was saying. Someone trying to deceive another energy. He can't. He's not able to come and pretend to be something he's not. Someone is being blocked out of your energy. Someone is being blocked. It's like, no, you can't come into this person's energy. We're kind of tired. Yeah, they can't. This is trying to come in the reverse. Like, you, they, they can't. Someone thought they were going to come in, pull the wool over your, your eyes, your head, whatever it is. <laughs> Just pull the wool over you. <laughs> and say, hey! I have this position for you. I think you're the perfect person for this position. You get to work this many hours. If you don't want to work today, you don't have to work today. Blah, 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 blah. And as soon as you will have signed the dotted line, you will have, will have been trapped. You will be trapping yourself. This person could have been working with these people behind the scenes. Every time you try to take action, you try to go for something, they tend to source you. This is like you wanting to maybe even move into a home and they call, I don't know, either the landlord or the mortgage company and tell them, hey, you may not want to let that person live in your home. This is what they do on their spare time. You know, they, they have a bunch of men or women coming into their house. They do drugs. They, have, they are addicted to substances and things like that. And then, lo and behold, the landlord or whoever does not want to consider you for the house anymore, the mortgage company, something like that. Someone is well-connected, but they're losing their allies. The allies are sick of them. My, 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 how the tables have turned. How the tables have turned. Mm. how the tables have turned while someone was trying to deceive you another person is taking the steps taking action to have fulfillment in life someone wants to have true love is what I'm hearing they want to have that reciprocity kind of love or something like that yeah with someone that they see as high uh, someone of high honor so they want to give you they want to be in a relationship with you and people have been blocking this person blocking this person <clears throat> someone told a masculine or a group of people to a masculine energy that you were pretending to be something you're not oh that's not an empress just keep watching she'll fall off eventually the mask is going to fall off well, it's been so long that whoever was telling him that your mask was going to fall off, their mask has fallen off. And it fell off a long time ago, and they didn't realize that the masculine already knew that the mask had fallen off. And they were still carrying on pretending to be an empress. That is so sad. That's pathetic as heck. Can you imagine going into someone's energy and they know the truth about you and you keep pretending <laughs> like you're still something? <laughs> Woo! Mm -hmm.
Is this all about either? Excuse me. Who? Is this all about either money, some type of property, wealth? Some of you, this is just jealousy and hate. That's all. You didn't do nothing to these people. It's all about jealousy and hate. They don't want you to be fruitful in life. If you're showing up here in an Empress energy as well, this means you're naturally abundant. But people don't want you in that energy. It's a whole group behind the scenes that may be working to bring balance, judgment, fairness into a situation. And there's an energy behind them not wanting to, so they may be, yeah, walking away from this person. Like they know the truth now, what someone did, the extent someone went to, to block another person. I'm telling you, to block someone else. To block someone else. And they, they may be bringing balance into the situation behind the scenes. Someone may be ending up losing a job while you're almost at the finish line, sailing on the karma waters. Someone, yeah, someone is about to be losing something. A house, a job position, everything. Someone is about to be excommunicated from an from a community. They're about to be excommunicated. Like, uh, what is the, the, someone is about to be disowned by a community. Someone is about to be disowned because people didn't know exactly what all this person was doing behind the scenes. <clears throat> They've done a lot. This either this is a queen, queen of queen of wands that dis, deceived a whole community, and they're finding that out, and they're pissed off, and everything she was trying to have done to you is what's happening to her. Meanwhile, you're going, you you are elevating. You are elevating. You see here, you push forward through something. You kept going. This is you, new start, new beginning. So I don't know if you told yourself, if I just keep going, if I just keep my eye on the target, you probably didn't even know where the target was, but you just kept going. You just kept going. And you, you step, you, you, you kept going, kept going, and the universe kept telling you, or your ancestors kept telling you, Keep going. And you're like, how long do I got to keep going? This is like, are we there yet? Some kind of situation. Are we there yet? And this, and your ancestors are like, just keep going, dear. Just keep going. And so you did. Oh, okay. There we go. I knew it. You two may be past life lovers. Well, I'm not getting that you dated this person before. I know the Six of Cups is out here. This is a past life connection. With this Six of Cups and the Two of Cups together, this is a past life connection. You two are stepping out on faith, leaving something behind you to manifest a new reality for yourself together. This is a past life connection. This is not something new. Okay? This is also someone some of you may have met in the past. That don't mean you dated them. Possible co-worker, friend from a long time ago, schoolmate, classmate, something like that. Someone from your past, though. Not someone you dated. Not someone you dated. I'm trying to see about this King of Swords. I mean, King of Cups. Why is the King of Swords coming out of my mouth? There's something about this King of Cups. He could be the one that's pushing forward too. I don't think it's accidental that it's, I mean, nothing is accidental in creation. So he's the one that's pushing forward as well. He may have had a lot of people up against him, discouraging him from moving forward, doing the right thing, taking a leap of faith. And it looks like that's what he's doing. That man is taking a leap of faith to reconnect with his soul twin. 
This is a past life connection. You two are like a home to each other. This is someone when they're around you, they just feel at peace, at ease. Can't explain why. Don't know why, possibly. But this is because you two resonate on a soul level. So you are home to each other. It's a very pure connection. Very pure connection. No ulterior motives, no secrets, everything out in the open. All the the good, the bad, the ugly, the dark, the, the pretty, the, the uh, just everything. Everything out in the open between the two of you, though. Like, this is not one of those connections where you're going out and telling everybody what's going on in your situation. People don't know. You two could be in your cups energy. And when people see you, you look stoic as hell. As heck. I don't know what the heck was. You look stoic as heck. But you are very happy with one another. And people don't know that when they see you. This is one of those situations where people want to know the details of what's going on behind closed doors. But neither of you are talking. Like you two are mirroring each other because you're so twins. I don't know if someone has been putting in effort behind the scenes to heal. This masculine could have been going through a healing process. So now he's on the same level as you. But this is not someone you dated. This is not someone you dated. Yeah. This is not someone you dated. So you two, just like I said, you two are going to get together, manifest some type of new reality, new businesses, new adventures, may even travel together. You're going to be traveling the world with this person. But you two will be manifesting some type of new life together. So you're leaving, you're leaving the all behind you. <clears throat> You see how it's here? Like you two push forward. <clears throat> Set that on faith. And then you reconnect. So you're leaving whatever you two have been going through, whether it's in a relationship, company, you're leaving all of that behind. You're going to meet, connect, step out, step out, start your new journey together. And there's someone that was being sent towards you to deceive you and they can't they cannot that person is being put someone's going through an ending there's a privileged lady behind the scenes that was sending the masculine to another feminine energy so that he could deceive the feminine energy into receiving some type of opportunity from the wrong masculine business love possibly both and if you will have, she will be in your position. It's not happening. She's going through something. She could be sick. She's going through something. She's losing something. She's losing something. It's the end of the road for her, but it's the beginning for you. It's the end of the road for her, but it's the beginning for you. Uh-huh. I'm telling you. It's the end of the road for her, but it's the beginning for you. You've manifested. This is like coming in the reverse, basically. So I'm going to put it like that. You've manifested some type of new reality for yourself. Someone wants to bring you chaos. Ooh, they don't want you moving forward. It's that you have arrived. Someone wanted to take action to come in and stop you. They can't. They cannot take any action to come in and stop you. Mm. And someone feels like someone is seething with anger that you made it. They can't stop you. There's a feminine energy that's walking around seething with anger. Angry, like aggressive. Someone may be even foamy. Your eyes are all red. I'm telling you, they're not happy. Someone can pretend. Oh my gosh, I said it. 
someone cannot pretend anymore to be something they're not because you're having this new start, this fresh start. She can't pretend anymore. She he can't. Like everything is out in the open now. Someone has been paying people behind the scenes to be hostile to you, get you out of character. You're not. You're still in character. She, the, the mask fell off, just like I said it was. It would. Oh, it had. It fell off. She's being seen as someone very toxic, aggressive, hostile, not someone that's very modest at all. Like we have the Knight of Swords and the Strength appearing together. That's someone imbalanced. She doesn't have the strength to move forward. She's about to be going through something she tried to put you through. She's going to have to find the strength somewhere, somehow, to make it through that. To make it through that, but she won't be able to. She won't be able to make it through what she put you through. Someone is not brave. And she may know what's coming for her, too. She's not brave. Hmm. So you got to be careful. I knew this, this was going to come out. You got to be careful. She's losing it because she knows you two are about to connect. She knows that you two are so missed. You have a genuine.